ago, and that we've heard from uh, innkeepers, B&B owners, and other hoteliers for many years, we've heard you want to be able to reach our audience directly. Uh, so right now, for an awful lot of properties, we give the beautiful reviews, the nice photos, and no way to actually contact the B&B. So a uh, press release this morning went out talking about TripAdvisor <coughs> business listings. So we're now uh, offering uh, an annual subscription that allows everyone to list a phone number, a URL, and an email address on your property. Uh, it's good for an entire year. It's good on all of our domains. So kind of for one price, you're not only catching uh, folks from New England looking to stay in Maine, but travelers in France on our tripadvisor.fr site that might want to consider where to stay in uh, kind of on the border or wherever. Uh, so a URL, a phone number, uh, a domain, a URL, phone number, email address, uh, different by point of sale, different by language, uh, and the pricing is variable, uh, and for 10 rooms or less, it's uh, $600 a year with a January introductory price of $300. And then, you know, if you're a 500 room hotel, it's, I think, $15,000. So again, it's priced on the size of the property, but we really wanted to make it affordable for small properties. Thank you, Jay. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I, from our perspective, I also want to be clear, whether or not anyone chooses to, to purchase this listing, uh, again, direct contact to your property, your website, whatever you want to put there, has absolutely no influence on your popularity ranking, has no influence on how quickly we will respond to your management requests or, or any other contact you have with TripAdvisor. It's just an advertising vehicle so people can reach you directly in the exact form that you would prefer. If you don't want all three, if you don't want to take a phone call but just want an email or vice versa, that's fine. Uh, and, uh, uh, and it's displayed right up uh, above the fold by, uh, by the photo and, and the address of your property. Uh, that's, that's good news for our industry, you know, especially how many of you track your internet traffic and where it comes from, the different sources and so forth? Well, prior to this, um, and this, this wasn't necessarily their reasoning for doing this, but an advantage of this is now you can track the, the traffic that's coming from your TripAdvisor page. So you, you'll be able to see what, what the volume is and so forth, which is important to those that are tracking your internet stats and where your traffic is coming from, which all of you should be uh, to know where your customers are coming from. So that's, that's good news for our industry, thanks. One or two more details now that I've thought of it. The uh, uh, sign-ups can start. Uh, if you're not a registered owner on TripAdvisor, go ahead and register now. It's free. You get the, the monthly mailings and whatever we put out, including some tips on, on this and that. And you'll get a reminder for when this service opens up, uh, which is January 4th. Uh, Self-service, credit card, hopefully easy as pie. Uh, introductory offer, as I said, good through the end of January. Uh, uh, it, it's, a, it's a heck of a deal. Uh, we wanted to get momentum, which obviously suggests you take advantage of it in January. Uh, and if at any point you're, however you choose to measure it, dissatisfied with having this listing, uh, cancel. Uh, we'll refund the pro rata amount of whatever it is that uh, that was charged, and your URL and phone number goes down, and obviously no other bad side effects. We really want it so consumers can reach you, and then you can reach directly to consumers at the same time. That's great news. Um, now back to the grilling. 